at six, it's no secret the talk of taking down Confederate monuments across the state is drawing passionate opinions from both sides. That includes our state leaders who remain divided over who has the authority to take down the Confederate monument, Silent Sam, on UNC's campus. CBS North Carolina political reporter Bo Minnick is digging deeper with a look at what's at the core of the issue. Bo. Sharon, certainly Silent Sam has gotten plenty of attention out here this week. I want to go ahead and take a step out of the way right now so photographer Dave Hatman can show you how there are dozens of people remaining out here calling for its removal. At issue is a law passed in 2015, and the people in power don't see eye to eye on it. To take down Silent Sam. From tensions over Silent Sam. <laughs> to the monument that toppled down in Durham. People are talking about what to do with the Confederate monuments across the state and the country. Local governments ought to be able to determine how to take these monuments down. State lawmakers passed a bill in 2015 called Senate Bill 22 that stopped the removal of monuments, including Confederate monuments, without the approval of the State Historical Commission. Union County Republican State Senator Tommy Tucker sponsored the law and previously told me it was about protecting history. Senator Tucker, can we ask you about Senate Bill 22? Today, he referred us to Senate President Pro Tem Phil Berger, who tells me he has not been asked to bring the law back before the body. The law's in place. Uh, I, I think uh, the, the law should be followed. Uh, we, uh, you know, if, if someone has proposed changes to the law, then obviously they, uh, they have an opportunity uh, at some point to offer those. The law provides an exception when a building inspector or similar official determines it poses a threat to public safety. The governor told UNC that is grounds for the university to remove it. We've had our legal people look at it. I've looked at it. I believe that exception is there. UNC says it will follow the law and doesn't agree that it's received the green light by anyone with authority to relocate the statue. And the UNC Board of Trustees says that it will continue to discuss its legal options with the Board of Governors. Live in Chapel Hill, Bo Minnick, CBS, North Carolina. And Bo, we have